Many thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. I am Mary Kanu. The seven persons have been killed in separate attacks by gunmen and villagers in three local government areas of Kaduna State. Confirming the incident to newsmen, the State Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Aruma, said the attacks took place in Igabi, Chipu and Zango Kataf local government areas. He further revealed that four people were killed while one person was injured during an attack by gunmen in Kerawa village of Igabi local government area. And Governor of River State in Isamwike has ordered the shutdown of illegal crude oil refining sites in the state with immediate effect. In a message by his spokesman Kelvin Eberi, the Governor directed Council Chairman and community leaders to report those behind illegal bunkering and crude oil refining sites in their localities to his office for prosecution. The move, which is said, had become necessary to contain the menace of sewage pollution, which has continued to endanger public health in the state. The National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, has affirmed that Nigeria will not be a dumping ground for banned chemicals from other countries. The Director General of NAVDAC, Mojisola Deyeye, who made the disclosure, also debunked insinuations that 40% of registered brands of pesticide products used in Nigeria are either banned or restricted for use by the EU, thereby endangering the lives of people and animals. In her remarks at the opening of a two-day top management committee meeting in Lagos, Adeyeye said NAVDEC is saddled with the responsibility of ensuring that chemical products produced in Nigeria and those being imported into the country meet the prerequisite in-country approval as well as international standards. And UK regulators have approved Pfizer's antiviral drug Paxlovid COVID-19 pill for adults who have mild to moderate infection and at high risk of their illness worsening. The Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency says it has found the oral treatment to be safe and effective at reducing the risk of hospitalization and death in people with mild to moderate COVID-19 infection. The agency added that Paxlovid was most effective when taken during the early stages of a COVID-19 infection and is recommended for use within five days of a patient's first symptoms. And in business, the federal government has paid a total of $3.53 billion to five international oil companies as cash call areas repayment to the IOCs, leaving an outstanding balance of $1.15 billion. A report on the pre-2016 cash call areas repayment to the IOCs as at October 31, 2021, showed that the five oil companies were joint venture partners of the country's oil firm. The report outlined the five IOCs to include Shell Petroleum Development Company, Mobile Producing Nigeria and Chevron Nigeria Limited. And on the global scene, a fire that ravaged part of South Africa's parliament and golf in the National Assembly and threatening national treasures has been brought under control. Flames broke out early Sunday in the oldest wing of the Cape Town complex, triggering an inferno that crews battled throughout the day. Parliament spokesman Moloto Mutapo said the roof of the assembly had collapsed and the fire was so intense in that part of the building that firefighters had been forced to withdraw. The police on Monday also said they had charged a 49-year-old man who is due to appear in court on Tuesday with housebreaking, arson and damaging state property. And in sports, Chelsea came from 2-0 down to earn a point from a pulsating 2-2 draw with Liverpool on Sunday. The Reds raced into a two-goal lead before halftime thanks to parting gifts from Sadio Mane and Mohamed Salah before they head off to the Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon. But despite playing without Romelu Lukaku, the Blues still had the firepower to fight back before halftime thanks to stunning strikes from Mateo Kovacic and Christian Pulisic. Chelsea have now won just one of their last five league games, while Liverpool have taken just two points from their last three matches as Man City leads now stands at 10 points. Well, that's all on the newsroom. Thank you for watching. I am Mary Kanu.